Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another I'm not going anywhere, but let's film kind of video. This is a first impressions featuring the Melt 420 palette. Here is what it looks like. It's so pretty. Let me show you the back. How fun is that? So they always kill it with their cool packaging. I did get this in the mail yesterday and I went live and I did comparison swatches with the rest of my Melt collection. So usually with Melt, I don't know what to expect because I feel like I've had really good and really bad experiences with Melt. So I swatched them. The swatches were pretty promising. I definitely feel like I can dupe these shades in my existing Melt collection, but that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do an eye look with this palette. I'm going to go into the shade Shotgun. I don't really have a lot of shades like this. It's very dusty and I'm not really anticipating that it'll show up on my skin tone, um, but we'll try and see. You guys know I like to blend. This is a dusty freaking color. Look at all that fallout. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, this color I feel like is what the ABH neon yellow shade is going to look like in my crease if I try to use it in the crease. So just want to let you guys know. Well, that is pretty sad, but it's such a pretty color. Shotgun, oh my gosh, you guys should see the kick up in my pan. I'm going to show you in a second here. So, do you guys see the mess? Isn't that horrible? That's just for me doing that and you should see like my under eye. So I think that color is definitely a fail for my skin tone. Next I'm going into Faded, which is the next like green. These are so dusty. Holy crap. This is why I always do my, oh my it's so crumbly watch do you get I'll be hitting pan in no time light skin tone I bet this color would show up so beautifully on you like fully pigmented on me just looks like a very muted mustardy green and yellow this is insanity the amount of fallout. Holy crapola. How does Melt do this? Because I just used the Gemini palette the other day that, that my subscriber sent me and it was working just fine. And then I pick up this palette and I'm like in Fallout City. This is insanity. Do your eyeshadow first if you want this palette and you're not super good at makeup because it's not gonna end well for you. Okay, next I'm just gonna go into the next shade, shade which is Chronic. Oh, I have never seen this much fallout in an eyeshadow palette. Okay, not never, but in a long time. That color is so pretty though. Ooh, I like how it's blending in to the other shade. That's such a pretty color. Okay, <laughs> what shade do we want to do next? Okay, I'm going to go into Blunt, which is this color. Oh, I can't believe the fallout. Okay, that is lightening it up again, so scratch that plan. I want to darken it up with more green, so let me reach into Gemini quick and go into the shade Leo. Okay, so now I want to go into the brown shade in the 420 palette. It's this one called Roll It. Okay, I think this brush may be part of the problem. So let me switch to something a little bit more tapered. This is a tapered, like, blending slash. Okay, well, I can see the color changing in the viewfinder. It's not really what I wanted. I wanted it to look more deeper than this okay I'm gonna go into the black from the Gemini this is this feels this feels pretty high maintenance for me I'm gonna stop 
gonna go back into that big old brush and just blend some more. And then I wanna do the gold shade called Shatter, right? On the lid. So let's see. I'm gonna go in dry. Mm, it's not picking anything up, so I'm gonna wet my brush. Okay, I always wet my brush with this Herbal War spray that I'm trying to pan. So I'm trying to pick it up with a flat brush, spray it. Okay, I kind of like it now. Once I added the shimmer shade. I don't feel like this is gonna, like, I don't feel like I could wear this eyelid through a work day though. I'm trying to foil the crap out of these. <laughs> and I'm really pressing it in to the lid as well. Gonna stop. Okay, so here's what the eyeshadow looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the fallout right there. Whew, that was brutal. So I'm gonna finish it up and show you guys the final look once I am done with my face. Okay guys, so here is the final look I created with my 420 palette from Melt Cosmetics. Now, I will go ahead and link all the rest of the products on my face down in my description box. If I miss anything, let me know, but I am trying to get better at linking everything on my face in the description box. You guys don't have to ask me. I know it's a little bit frustrating, but hopefully that'll help you guys out. And then just know all of the links down in my description box are typically affiliate links. So if you shop using those links, I will make a very tiny, tiny commission. So just helps me put some money back into my channel. I'm sorry if you guys are sick of hearing people say that, but you know, makeup costs money. Anyway, um, the other thing I do wanna tell you guys really, really quick too is I will be live on my YouTube channel tomorrow. So check me out at 10.05 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also go into my videos and click the set reminder button because YouTube will remind you when I am about to go live. So if you guys have been missing out on those, definitely check them out. It is a whole lot of fun. Okay, that's it for announcements. Back to this guy. So if you guys couldn't tell, it was a struggle bus of <laughs> work when it came to this palette. I'm just gonna show you guys really quick the state of my pans and the amount of powder fallout you can probably see with the shades I use. I mean, it was a freaking struggle to get these to do what I needed them to do. So I don't know what to really say about Melt, except it's probably one of the most inconsistent brands I have worked with. It's like that boyfriend that you keep taking back even though he keeps breaking your heart. And like sometimes he's just so kind and sweet and takes you on a perfect date and it's like perfectly romantic. And then a week later, he's like ghosting you. He's not texting you back. like. He's one of those, you know? So that's how Melt feels like to me because I love some of their palettes. I don't like some of their palettes. Some of their palettes I send back. I pay for a label and I send them back. That's how pissed off I am about some of their palettes. So for example, the Millennial Pink palette, I used it one time on my channel and I wasn't prepared to deal with that palette. So I sent it back. The Gemini palette, somebody gifted this to me like this month and it's amazing. The formula is perfect. I don't have any trouble with it. I've only used the green side, but still. The two palettes from Holiday, I really enjoy. I thought this was such a fun color story. So those are great. I love Smoke Session so much that I bought a second one when they had that sale just the other week because my original Smoke Session is, is puffing out of the pan. And then the Rustic palette. This is the one that came out in March. And I just, ugh, I don't know. I don't love that one either. So it's just super duper inconsistent. I want to be able to tell you guys like, I recommend Melt 100%, you know, you get what you pay for, the formula is easy to work with. 
none of those things are true. You, it's so inconsistent. Some days you can get more than what you paid for. Some days you're like, I can't believe I paid this much money for this palette. I want my money back immediately. This palette, I wanna love it. I like this eye look a lot. Like the finished product looks great. I'm sure if I go out into the world, nobody would be none the wiser about the difficulty that I had to go through to create this eyeshadow look. So that's my plus point. I love the final look. I love these colors together. Obviously, you guys know that. I love grungy green eyeshadows. The thing is, could I do this eyeshadow look with my Juicy Olive palette by Give Me Glow or my, what is the green one from Kaleidos that looks like the Gemini palette? Yeah, I probably could. I could already do this eye look with melt eyeshadow palettes that I really like in my collection. So that's where the conundrum is. I don't think that this palette is very easy to work with. <laughs> it's not impossible, it's just not easy to work with. So. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Let me know if you've tried this palette. I'm dying to know what you guys think. I will definitely give it another shot. I don't hate this one as much as I did the Millennial Pinks palette on first impression. I'm definitely willing to take him back and try him out a few more times, see what happens, but first impressions were rough. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. I did swatch this whole palette and I swatched it comparing it to some of the other melt palettes I own in a live video that I did just the other day on I think Wednesday night when I received the palette. So I will try and remember to link that in my description box as well for you guys to catch that. I don't want to swatch it again so just go ahead and check out that live. It's towards the first bit of the live so if you don't want to watch the whole thing, that's totally fine. And I will catch you guys on my channel live tomorrow at 10.05 a.m. So put it in your calendar. We'll hang out. We'll talk about new makeup releases. And I was thinking we could talk about the finale of Instant Influencer, James Charles's YouTube original series that's going on on his YouTube channel. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great Friday and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys!